Have you ever been frustrated by some oil paints drying faster than others? One layer is bone dry, while another is still sticky days later. Why does this happen? Well, let's break it down. Welcome back to Painting Best Practices. If you've ever worked with oil paint, you know the waiting game all too well. Some colors seem to dry overnight, while others, well, let's just say you could go on vacation and they'd still be wet when you get back. So what's going on? The biggest factor in drying time is the chemistry of the pigment itself. Some pigments contain metal elements like lead, cobalt, or manganese, which act like natural drying accelerators. They speed up the oxidation process, the reaction between oil and oxygen that turns wet paint into a solid film. That's why colors like lead white, cobalt blue, and burnt umber dry much faster than let's say cadmium red or alizarin crimson. But the chemistry isn't the only factor. The physical structure of the pigment plays a role in how oil paint dries. Pigment particles vary in size and shape, which affects how they interact with the oil binder. Finer pigments, for example, like synthetic organic colors such as quinacridone magenta, tend to create a dense film which can slow down oxidation. In contrast, coarser pigments such as natural earth colors like raw sienna or umber create a more open structure in the paint film, allowing oxygen to penetrate more efficiently and speed up drying. The amount of oil between pigment particles plays a big role in how quickly oil paint dries. If there is just enough oil to coat the pigment particles, Without extra binder, the paint will dry faster because there's less oil that needs to oxidize. Most commercial oil paints, however, contain slightly more to ensure smooth application. But if you add more oil or medium to your colors, you're increasing the amount of binder that needs to harden, which naturally extends the drying time. Then there's the oil itself. Linseed oil dries the fastest because it has a high concentration of polyunsaturated fatty acids, which react with oxygen to form cross-linked polymer chains, creating a solid film. Who knew the same double bonds that earn these fats healthy status in your food also buddy up with oxygen in paint to dry into a strong, stable film? proving that what's good for your heart can also be great for your art. In contrast, poppy seed and safflower oil take much longer to dry due to their lower oxidation rates. Pairing these oils with a slow drying pigment then can extend the drying time even further, requiring extra patience. Let's not forget studio conditions. Temperature, humidity, and airflow will affect drying time. A cool, damp room will keep your paint wet for days. To speed things up, try using a dehumidifier or placing your painting in a warmer, well-lit space. Many artists instinctively reach for a fan to get things moving, but there's the catch. While it might sh shave off some drying time, it also stirs up dust, which can settle onto your painting and ruin the surface. So with a bit of warmth and controlled humidity, you can find the right balance for optimal drying. So to sum it up, pigment chemistry is the biggest factor. If a pigment contains drying metals, it'll cure faster. For example, lead white, cobalt blue, and burnt umber are known for their rapid drying properties due to their metal content. On the other hand, pigments like cadmium red or titanium white and, or alizarin 
which lack these reactive metals, dry much more slowly. Then comes the type of oil you're using, followed by maybe the pigment particle size and shape. But finally, your studio conditions has a lot of impact on drying. Now you know why burnt umber is dry, but your alizarin crimson is still tacky. Have a painting question? Drop it in the comments and we might feature it in a future episode. If you found this helpful, share it. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more expert painting tips. Thanks for watching and happy painting.